Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin says she will not run for re-election. It is a seismic shift for the state's largest city. It sets up a potential scramble for power now. King 5's Chris Daniels first reported this news on King5.com, talked with uh, Jenny Durkin at length today about her decision, and he joins us now with more. Chris, a first question, was this expected? Well, Joyce, I am told that Mayor Durkin made her decision after having a lengthy discussion with her family over the Thanksgiving holiday. It is indeed a change of heart after she filed paperwork to run for re-election and after a summer in Seattle like no other. I've decided that I will not seek a second term. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin made it official in a King 5 interview this morning before telling her staff and supporters she would not seek re-election. I could have spent the whole year campaigning to keep the job, or I can focus all my energies on doing the job. And I think there's only one right choice for Seattle, and that's for me to do the job. Durkin had a stable term on the seventh floor of City Hall since her arrival in 2017, backing bills for a new arena, free college tuition, millions for affordable housing and protections for workers. She had filed paperwork for reelection just prior to the start of the pandemic. Why make this decision now? Everything in Seattle and across America has changed since February. Her office was heavily criticized over its handling of protests on Capitol Hill and the police department's East Precinct. And as the debate raged over police funding, her approval ratings seemed to slip as well. What do you think this means for the Seattle Police Department, especially with the interim chief uh, leading it right now? Well, fortunately for the Seattle Police Department, Chief Diaz is well qualified, uh, very well versed in all of these issues. Uh, Former Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best is a King 5 law enforcement analyst and does not think Durkin's announcement will impact budget discussions next year. Clearly, there's a lot of issues around um, the funding, the budgeting, the staffing, the defund movement, and other things that the department is facing. And that's going to happen regardless of who's in charge. Durkin says the summer of civil unrest, which includes Included threats and protests at the mayor's front door did not play a part in the decision. At no time in the last few months did, did your family say, "Hey, th this is this is tough for us too to to deal with this kind of stuff outside our front door." Nobody um, has gotten through this year without a lot of challenges, and of course. I believe that public officials and their families shouldn't have to go through the kind of toxic politics that we've had. Tongues are already wagging in this city about who may now run for mayor. Council members Lorena Gonzalez and Teresa Mosqueda have been mentioned in the past. They are both up for reelection with their citywide council seats in 2021, meaning they would have to give up those seats in order to run potentially for mayor next year. We'll keep you posted for now live in Seattle. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News. Can't wait to see who's going to be in that field of contenders. Thanks so much, Chris. Governor Jay Inslee issued a statement this afternoon saying in part, Mayor Durkin cares deeply for Seattle and her service and dedication will have a lasting legacy. I wish her the very best in whatever challenges she takes on next and look forward to our continued partnership over the coming year.